Welcome to Inside Heavy. The famine are back after being missing in action for several years. They've got a new CD entitled The Architects of Guilt. A lot has changed with the famine since they last came around. they got a new lead singer, and we've got the master class drummer Martin Garza from the band with us to tell us everything we need to know about the new CD. So stay put. You're going to meet Martin Garza in 30 seconds. Metal Freak. Superstore Metal Freak We are back with Mark Garza from The Famine right here on Inside Heavy, the world's inside source to heavy metal. Welcome to Inside Heavy, Mark. How is things? And I assume you're in Texas. Yes, sir. I am. Thanks for having me. Um, everything is great down here. It's a uh... It's sunny and, and 75 degrees, and it's probably going to end up snowing probably tomorrow. Oh, well, welcome. We do it down here. Welcome to my world from the Midwest. Ice and snow up here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's talk about your new CD you got out or coming out. Um, and I hope I don't get uh, messed this up. Uh, the Architects of Guilt. That's it. Perfect. Good. Been listening to it. I got an advanced version from your label. Just killer stuff as usual from you guys. Uh, tell me, tell, give us a little uh, scoop here on the architects of guilt. Basically, uh, we we have two things to say, um, and one of them is coming from the musical side, uh, which is which is going to be my specialty, and then the other one is lyrically. Um, Musically, for instance, uh, what we've tried to do with metal, and, and this, is, this is the main point um, musically of what, what we've done with metal, um, the advent of Pro Tools and everything else, drummer-wise, you can essentially uh, go, to, go to no man's land when it comes to editing and uh, tricking out and looping and quantizing and you name it. There's so many tricks you can do on drums where you start really rolling out. Um, a lot of these producers are rolling out these metal records that have uh, they really have no soul because every you know everybody uses the same Meshuggah kick drum trigger uh, sample. Everybody uses the same you know Lamb of God snare sample, and it's across the board on a bunch of records. And it's it's no secret. But what we did on this one is we decided <clears throat> as the famine, you know, hey, we, we are, well, we're a good band. I mean, I'm not trying to say anything, but we're a good band. We should be able to go through, track these songs the way, you know, Morbid Angel tracked their songs back in the day, the way a Sepultura tracked their songs, the way early Metallica tracked their songs. I mean, you got there, you went in there, balls to the walls, and you did it. Um, very performance heavy, very realistic. Um, you can feel the tempo pushing and pulling. You can feel, um, you know, drum fills moving around a little bit. Um, and it's a real weird feeling that a lot of people, I guarantee a lot of people under under 25 are not going to understand what it is that we've done. It'll almost sound like we've done a, an older throwback record that sounds more like a, an old Slayer record than anything. And right. it's because we, we went through and performed everything um, to a click track, but we didn't edit anything. Mm-hmm. Um, we went through and played it, you know, balls to the wall as, 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 true to the music as we possibly could. Um, and I think that comes across in a bigger sound. We've always been a big sounding band, but this gives it a real big and a real mean sound. And everybody that's heard it has said the same thing. And man, this is, this is pretty mean. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's because it's not, it's not polished. It's not wiped clean. It's not scrubbed of all the imperfections that we have as musicians and like, um, you know, the little flubs that we do. Mm-hmm. Um, I know we took out like mic pops and stuff like that. You know, if I, if I was, you know, shredding on a on a drum fill, and I hit a mic. We took that out. Sure. But uh, other than that, I mean, you'll hear me mess up because that's that's just the way it is on the record. So it has a lot. It's hard to do, especially coming off of the raid and the reaping, mm-hmm. which was a, the debut record for the famine. But it was also kind of the rollout of the famine and us as a as a cohesive group. So we had the idea of doing this, but we didn't want people to think that we didn't have what it took to, you know, put out a, a, a top-sounding, nice, you know, 
produced record. So we, we went with Andreas Magnuson, who's, you know, an, an editing, you know, guru. He can edit in his sleep <laughs> um, with one hand while reading a book. And he's amazing. Right. And uh, he did that and, and polished it up real nice. But that's just not what we're going for on this record. Um, you know, obviously, you know, using Jason Sukoff and Braxton Henry and all that, we had all of the abilities to, to polish the record up, but we chose not to. We chose to be more that's honest right. about what we're doing and in turn came out with the, the Architects of Guilt, which sonically does not, I mean, it doesn't sound like you'll not be able to tell sonically. It's just performance-wise. You'll hear just this rawness that you're not going to hear on any other recording coming out right now. Um, mm. And that's, that's the main statement from the musical side. Mm. Uh, from the lyrical side, yeah, that, that was a huge deal. Um, having Nick now come in, uh, I say come in, he moved from bass to vocals was a huge thing for us because he's, He's a, a a wordsmith for sure, but he's got a lot of a lot of hot topics when it comes to um, his opinions on on politics, his opinions on um, Christianity, his opinions on uh, everything else that that you know makes the world go round. Right. And he's got some some things that I think need to be heard, and he's using that platform of the band to do that, which is great because it's not going to be all about you know finding chicks and. Mm-hmm. You know, hanging out with your bros at a concert and, you know, right. how badass are you? You know, <laughs> it's, sure. it's a it's an album of substance. It's an album. And yeah, at the end of the day, it's a metal record, but it's an album of substance, mm-hmm. um, musically and lyrically. And that's the summation of what I could tell you about the Architects of Guilt. Let me ask you real quick about Chris McCadden. He, like you already mentioned that uh, that uh, Nick is the vocalist now. And uh, right. fantastic job. You guys must have known that he was capable of this a long time ago if he's been the bassist in the band. But Chris is one of the, he was the founding father of this band. You guys have been together for a long time. He was in uh, Embodiment, correct? Right. And uh, right. Uh, where, where, where did Chris go? Well, uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> Uh, in, in, in view of not making this a four hour interview, what I'll tell you, the best way to explain it is, uh, Chris was in New York and, uh, you know, he would fly down for touring and he'd fly down to help write the record. And, um, at the end of the day, uh, there's, there's something that you can't, that you're missing as a band. If you don't have a cohesiveness and you cannot, you know, mm-hmm. do a pickup show or, uh, do anything more than just, uh, you know, flying in different members, getting together, rehearsing for a week, and then going out and banging it out. Mm-hmm. We wanted a real band, in, in our opinion. We wanted a real band, this real cohesiveness together that way. Uh, uh, it's, sure. it's not a concept band or an idea band where we're a band when we're together. We want to, you know, we wanted the family to be real, legit, mm-hmm. 24-7, all the time. Um, and be able to play and do whatever we needed to do when we needed to do it. And that just wasn't possible with Chris being up there. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a bunch of underlying personal issues, too, that um, are just completely, you know, stupid. We're, we're, we're uh, imperfect people, and we sure. have issues um, a lot of times. We had a lot of issues with Chris about certain things, but um, we love the guy. Mm-hmm. He, he is a huge inspiration on the band, um, you know, and... Uh, he just, at the end of the day, he he looked at things, and we looked at things, and we realized um, that uh, we could definitely bring uh, a different type of vocalist to the table with Nick. Because uh, see, Nick being down here, you know, when we start tracking stuff, uh, we want to hear something sound like the vocals. Of course, Nick was here. He just laid down some vocals. You know, and one thing that led to another, and I was just shocked at the guy's range. Mm-hmm. I was shocked at his intensity. Um, he's got you know, a master's degree in English, so words are not a mystery to him. Mm-hmm. So he has a great concept of how to use words and how to use, um, um, you know, there, there's a lot more to it than just having an angst or having something to say. You have to have the ability to, to say it. And Nick is, Nick's got that talent. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas, uh, in, in all honesty, uh, lyrical writing was the, the job of the band um, more than was Chris's job when he was in the band because Chris didn't have that mm-hmm. that real aspect to what he did. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, again, there's other things, but I think moving on, it was a really a good move for us and, and probably ended up being a great move for Chris 
you know, that he can focus on his design career and all the other things he has going on. He's a, he's definitely a, a man of the world, and he's doing his thing, and we support him wholeheartedly on that. The Architects of Guilt by the Famine is set to be released on Solid State Records February 15th, 2011, and you can get a great deal on it at heavymetalfreak.com. This is good metal. The Famine is a highly intelligent band that thinks every aspect of the music through front cover to back. They remind me so much of Rush in that fashion. My thanks to Mark Garza from The Famine for coming on Inside Heavy and spending time with us talking about the Architects of Guilt and to all of you listening. Until next time, God bless and take care. Stop.